Hi, we're going to look at using wildcards in the context of the countifs and sumifs functions. Now, you can use wildcards with other things like filters and other functions, so you'll better uh, relate this information to those contexts as well. So, here are the kind of wildcard scenarios we're going to look at. For example, you could have uh, some text, some characters, and then an asterisk at the end, and that would basically uh, search or find anything that starts with those three characters. If you have the asterisk at the start, basically you're saying anything that ends with these three characters. If you enclose the characters within uh, asterisks, you're basically saying anything that contains those characters, whether it's at the beginning, the middle, or at the end. If you use the question mark, what you're doing is you're saying, uh, well, um, there's, there's a pattern of characters, for example, W, then any character, any, any character is allowed, and then an R. Now, if you combined this scenario with these asterisks, you could say, well, these characters are going to be at the beginning, these characters are going to be at the end, or anywhere, if you enclose them with quotation marks. So we'll look at this scenario as we go through our examples. So our first uh, example uh, involves this list of product codes. Now, if you look, um, the product codes can be categorized into these product categories. So the first three letters of each product code uh, matches these product categories here. Uh, you've then got three numbers and then some of them have a dash T at the end which provides us with uh, something else to search for in a moment. You've also got a quantity column so it tells us uh, the quantity of these products that are in stock. A little bit of conditional formatting here used to show um, anything up any quantity values above our threshold of 350. Now what I want to be able to do in the first instance is just search for how many product codes meet this product category description here. So um, just zoom in a little bit for you so we can see what I'm doing. Uh, I'm going to start off with my count ifs function. And what it's asking me first of all is my first criteria range, which is going to be this range here. And I need to make that an absolute reference so that when I copy the formula down, I don't lose reference to my product code. So I'm going to use F4 on my keyboard to do that. Um, then comma, it's asking me for my first criteria. Now my criteria is in this cell here. So what I'm saying is it starts with E2. So I need an E2 and then an asterisk, if you remember from our descriptions at the beginning of the video. Now what I need to do, because the value that I need to add to the wildcard is within a cell, I need to actually use the concatenation symbol ampersand. And then I'll say I need to concatenate it or join it with the asterisk symbol, which needs to go in quotation marks. Right, so that's my first criteria range and then my first criteria. So comma. So I need now to express my second criteria range, which is just going to be the quantity column, because I'm looking for anything greater than 350. So I need to make that absolute as well. And then in quotation marks, I write 350. And it all goes in quotation marks, including the comparison operator. Right, if I close the brackets, let's just have a look at that, let's see if that's worked. So GHY, let's just have a look at... Uh, our product codes, if that's right. So I'm looking for uh, a GHY product greater than 350 and it appears only to be one in my list and that's the answer I have here. If I copied it down to POT, we're looking at four, well there's one, two, three, four, five, but one of them doesn't have a value greater than 350, so that seems to be working. Now, um, I want to exclude any products that end with dash T. So I need to add another criteria range and criteria. So I'm just going to press F2, which puts me into edit mode on my formula. I'm going to put a comma in at the end of my existing criteria and criteria ranges. And my next criteria range will be uh, this column again. And what I'm saying is, just F4 that to make it absolute. What I'm saying is that I'm looking for something that does not have 
dash t at the end. So um, I'm going to put this. So what I'm saying is not equal to um, asterisk dash t. And I'm going to need to put that in quotation marks. Hopefully you can see that that makes sense. So not equal to, this is the symbol for not equal to, less than and greater than, and ends with dash t. So I just press control enter to get my um, answer. So uh, for ghy apparently there are no products. So there's only G one ghy product code we know. Um, it is greater than 350, but it does have a dash T at the end. Let's copy down to POT. So let's have a look at this. Well, one, two, three, four. Okay, so um, we have got a POT uh, uh, product code here, but it does have uh, a minus T there. So um, that's not getting counted, but we weren't counting that anyway because it was less than 350. Let's just copy it down the other products and see if it's worked. So KUY, well, uh, I've got a KUY there that's greater than 350. Um, that has got a minus uh, dash T on it, so that's not getting counted. So there is one that doesn't have a minus T on. It's this one here. Okay, so that's the only one that's getting counted in this scenario. Then we've got um, CVR. So apparently there's three, and if you look, we've got one, two, three, which are over 350, and none of them have a dash T on. So it looks like it's worked. Next step is to use a sumifs function to uh, calculate the total quantity uh, of products stocked for these product codes where the product code ends with dash T. So I'm starting off with a sum ifs function. And the first thing a sum ifs function asks you for is the sum range. So I'll start with that. So we're adding up the quantities. And that obviously needs to be absolute. And then it's asking first for the first criteria range. So first criteria range is the uh, product code. Also an absolute reference. Comma, and what we're saying is that we're only looking for product codes that meet this product category. So we've done this before with our countess, but it's this cell here, ampersand, and then the asterisk symbol. But we're only looking for the products that end with dash T, so we highlight this range again for our second criteria range, which will also be absolute. And what we're doing is we're saying our criteria is, um, in quotation marks, asterisk, so ends with minus t. And close that with a quotation mark as well. Close the bracket, press enter. So uh, apparently 791 in stock for GHY. Now we know GHY has one uh, product code. And that's the 791 accounted for. If I copy it down to POT, POT only has one dash T product. And we've got our 280 there, and so forth and so forth. So if I copy that down, let's look at one more, see if that makes sense. So CVR apparently hasn't got any. If we look at all the CVR codes, none of them have dash T at the end. So that appears to have worked as well. In our last scenario, we need to count the number of product codes that contain P any character T. Now, if you look at my product codes here, the product codes are prefixed with YU dash, and the three characters that we're kind of uh, looking for or counting are from the fourth character onwards. So we'll need to use the contains wildcard in addition to this uh, what question mark wildcard here. I am only interested in product codes where the quantity is greater than 3,500. So I'm typing equals count ifs. And my first criteria range is my product code column, comma. And then in quotation marks, I'm putting asterisk P question mark T. It's not case sensitive, but I'm putting it in capitals for you. And then 
another asterisk at the end there, enclosed in quotation marks. So quotation mark, asterisk, P, question mark, T, asterisk, in quotation mark, comma. My second criteria range is my quantity column. And what I'm saying is, is that the quantity must be greater than 3,100. So that's in quotation marks again. Press enter and I get three. So is that correct? So I'm looking for anything that has a P, any character T in it, where the uh, quantity is greater than 3,500. If I look down here, I've got one here. I've got one here. I've got one here. But these two here, the quantity is not greater than 3,500, nor is this one here, so it looks as though the answer is 3. We do have the correct answer. So hopefully that was helpful. We've looked at using these four different types of wildcards. First three using the asterisk, fourth one there using the question mark. Obviously these can be combined with a question mark wildcard. Uh, to provide more sophisticated wildcard syntax.